Hi, I'm Mary Hamill, and this is the High Speed Rail News Channel update for the third week of September, brought to you by Global 5 Communications. Reaction is rolling into the first ever U.S. technical standards for high speed rail train cars. These first specifications are for double decker cars, pretty rare in the U.S., that can be used with existing passenger trains. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood says the historic uniform standards quoting here will provide an unprecedented opportunity for manufacturers in the U.S. from rails to wheel bearings to final assembly to build a strong, stable manufacturing base. Similar standards for single-level passenger rail cars are expected to be adopted by the end of the year. These first specs are for trains that will travel up to 125 miles per hour. Next up, specifications for higher speed trains and development of a procurement strategy to be used by the states and Amtrak. The goal is to create a dependable market for equipment manufacturers to justify their investment for long-term production. More information is at highspeed-rail.org. The International Business Times is reporting the U.S. seems to be focusing on high-speed rail as a way to kickstart manufacturing jobs, quoting, rather than a comprehensive solution to transportation woes in the U.S. The report points out that high-speed rail lines in Europe, Japan, and China are government-funded and heavily subsidized, and U.S. funding, as this chart shows, is a small fraction of international spending. I'm Mary Hamill, and this is your High Speed Rail News Channel update for the third week of September, brought to you by Global 5 Communications.